Hey, what's going on with it once again? Ladies and gentlemen, especially fanboys and fangirls out there, this is the one, the only, Criticism Guy 2009, a.k.a. Nintendo for 2011. Let me just back my computer up a little bit so you guys get a better view of this, or shot, whatever you want to call it. So, um, I originally wasn't really planning on making videos today or Sunday, but you know what? I just did it for the hell of it because um, I didn't get to go out nowhere today because um, I was kind of like bored as hell out of my mind because uh, I didn't get that much money this weekend, so it kind of sucks. But tomorrow, for sure, I can assure you I will be doing my jet that kills or machete kills. You're white. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, that's all I had to say there. So, um, without further ado, on that, before I start rolling this little wallpaper, let's begin. Hopefully, read the title above and below and read the article from Wikipedia on this. This is an anime from a while ago back in the mid late 90s called Bastard. And I think the original like um what's it called? The original English translation for it is I think it's called Army of Darkness. So in the manga Bastard right here is supposed to be called the Kingdom of I'm probably gonna butcher the crap out of this name. Um Matarakana is attacked by um four lords of havoc. This promotes the high priest Axe's daughter to awaken Dark Snyder, a wizard and the former leader of Riders with um within a 14 year old boy named Lucho Rhiannon. Bastard's history is a count of sorcery, revenge, and other power struggles in the Dungeons and Dragons like world. It is a dystopian, I think that's how I'm saying it right, dystopian, dystopian world where people need magic to survive against the beasts and evil monsters. There are four kingdoms, each one a protector of the Four seals that keep up the godness of destruction statistics. I'm sorry if I was talking a little bit loud there. I was a little hyped up on like some monster shit. And I was drinking some energy drinks, so bear with me there. While the first half of the manga follows a theme similar to Dungeons and Dragons scenarios, it is later also focuses on aspects such as beliefs and morals religions. And the OVA series, the last thing I'll read in the rest, you could read down in the description box below. I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video. So yeah, the OVA Symphonist. In the anime, the six episodes tell the awakening of Dark Snyder, also is called Darsh, or Darshu, by those who know him well. And in his subsequ subsequent attempts to destroy his old allies, the four so Lords of Havoc, and then takes over the world. While winning over multiple love interests, Dark Snyder has been in prison 15 years earlier, trapped inside of a body of Yoko's friend, Lucien, and followed a failed attempt to take over the world. In the meantime, his four generals attempting to resurrect the good, I'm probably going to butcher this name too, Anthrasax? Anthrasax? I think it's Anthrasax. Okay. Who would be, um, who would bring about an apocalypse and create the sorcerer's kingdom from the ashes of the old world. The story takes place in a feature of post apocalyptic times following the release of Anthrasax and the height of modern civilization. Technology is gone and magic has asserted itself as the force of the world. Shortly after all the fall of the modern world, the demonic creatures began to appear mass and force and mass and force humans to revent to a feudalistic city state based society. This episodes the episodes are rather disjointed with scenes missing between episodes making it hard to follow, but take taken at face value for what it makes sense of makes enough sense and the production was all that transparency or magic you can read all that stuff about the characters i'm not going to get into any of that well i'll get into a little bit i'll probably just read the names so this one um tia noko Nyoro, yoko dark snyder ninja master gara thunder empress astrid's i'm probably gonna ash's knee i think that's how you say kalosu dark priest abigail lars Rars, Bon <laughs> Man Jovian, Van Jovian, the Prince Sheila, Gionotto Soto, Soto, Sen Ari, Kai Harna, Diamond, Diamond, and I'm probably gonna say this wrong, Ung Vuzi, Vuzi, I don't know. And it's all the chapters, English dubs and sagas. There's only six episodes of this anime too, so basically this is what it comes down to. And let's begin here. So um bastard, I guess. It's one of those harem satires that's going to be like, um, has a lot of stuff to do with the Middle Ages. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for showing any of those pictures, whatever. Hopefully I'm getting a copyright strike or shit like that. Yeah, so basically Bastard is basically about them going to a medieval time. I think the one with the white hair is supposed to be the main character. He's a bunch of beautiful hot ass women. So it's kind of like that old school feeling of like Tenshi Muyo, even the late 80s, early 90s anime, like, um, 
think it's called Lemon Slice, or Slice of Life kind of anime, but this isn't Slice of Life, that's for sure. So yeah, it's basically about him, he's going through like these six episodes, he's traveling with these really hot ass women, you know, it's typical, um, I was going to say manga, but typical um, harem type of style of anime. You know, he's got to do these everyday tasks and stuff like that, and he's got to fight all these demonic warriors, so like, none of the females get destroyed or injured in the process, or killed, fight to the death. And there's all these demonic wars, these demons, and like dragons, things he's got to do, and it's kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons type of feel. Like it's said in the wiki or whatever, or Wikipedia. And uh, let me, I'll, I'll definitely give mega huge amounts, shit tons of credit to the people that did the anime art design because it's one of those old school 90s kind of feels to it, you know. That's when anime was barely just starting out. I think in the 80s it was still around too, but it wasn't as huge until the 90s came around. So I'm glad I was a 90s kid, thank God. <laughs> so other than that, you know, um, what more can I say? You know, I love the sourcey and the magic they use from the swords. It looks bad fucking ass, epic as hell. I really wish they had anime around just like this nowadays, even though I would some probably argue nowadays, even though it's only been like three, four years ago when it came out, like Sword Art Online, or the one from like two, three years back, like, um, I'm trying to remember, the one that for Neverworld, if any of you guys don't know who he is, probably been living under a rock, because he's a huge anime manga fanboy, but he's awesome as shit, definitely something, and he's got like 70, 80,000 subs, but he's cool. A fairy tale. That's what I'm thinking about that. And maybe One Piece. I guess you could probably argue with that would probably be the nowadays version of Bastard, aka um, Army of Darkness. I heard the manga's still going on too, so there's got to be almost a thousand different manga books from this thing. Beyond fucking belief. So I know the manga series is still popular to this day, but uh, I think this one's an adult anime too. If you can see down down there, so probably under 16, 17, 18 years old, you probably might not want to watch this because. There's going to be a lot of blood, violence, profanity like a motherfucker, seriously. You probably want to stay away from it if you're offended by any of that, but if you're not, if you're chill with it like I am, hey, by all means, go pick that shit up. If it's still around with the manga thing. Anime's probably hard to come by these days, but the manga shouldn't be too much of an issue. But, last but not least, my overall thoughts and views and opinions on this, you know. Of course, females are going to look hot as fuck, so that's one thing I'll probably like about it. Or if any other guy that likes her with the hentai shit and all that, if you're a decently huge fan like that, like I am, hey, by all means, definitely check this shit out. You will not be disappointed. When I saw the trailer for this older one, I was not disappointed in the slightest. There is some comedy schemes to it, too. You know, when the girls are taking a bath and he sneaks a peek and it's like, oh, pervert, you know, that typical Japanese, you know, comedy humor, you know. If you're into that type of stuff, this is definitely the anime for you. So like I always say, it is what it is, ain't what it ain't. See you when I see you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. Wherever you're at around the world. Don't drink and smoke weed at the same time. Don't take the reckless. Stay safe. See you on the next one. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you soon, all right? See you around. Goodbye. Be easy. And uh, one more thing before I do go real quick. I know I've been kind of lazy in the alternative media thing. I only did about a week and a half ago. But that trucker's constitution thing, I will do that soon. So definitely be patient on that. I've been getting almost 100 views on my like, alternative media stuff. I know the X and Y stuff's all over because um, it was the first day it came out today, even though some people got it days earlier in advance. So there's that and that, and I will be doing Machete Kills review and a speed run on my Pokemon cars probably this Monday. It's a Saturday night right now, but I don't know. We'll see what happens, all right? See you around. Peace out. Lates, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Later, I'm gone. I'm getting the hell out of here. Goodbye.